Mm. It's a little repellent, I admit, but actually, the first sin I have to confess to you is gluttony. Sticky gluttony at that. Infantine Italian gluttony. The truth is that all my life I have never been able to conquer a lust for the sweetmeats of northern Italy, where I was born. From the ages of three to 73, my entire career has been conducted to the taste of almonds sprinkled with sifted sugar, Veronese biscuits, Milanese macaroons, snow dumplings with pistachio sauce. Do not judge me too harshly for this. All men harbor patriotic feelings of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> My parents were provincial subjects of the Austrian Empire, a Lombardy merchant and his Lombardy wife. Their notion of place was the tiny town of Legnago, which I could not wait to leave. Their notion of God was a superior Habsburg emperor inhabiting a heaven just a little farther off than Vienna. All they required of him was to protect commerce and keep them forever preserved in mediocrity. My own requirements were very different. I wanted faith, not to deceive you. I wanted to blaze like a comet across the firmament of Europe but only in one special way. Music. Absolute music. A note of music is either right or wrong, absolutely. Not even time can alter that. Music is God's art. Already when I was 10, a spray of sounded notes would make me dizzy, almost to folly. By 12, I was stumbling about under the poplar trees, humming up my arias and anthems to the Lord. My one desire was to join all the composers who had celebrated his glory through the long Italian past. Every Sunday, I saw him in church, painted on the flaking wall. I don't mean Christ. The Christ of Lombardy, a simpering sillies with lambkins on their sleeves. No. I mean an old, candle-smoked god in a mulberry robe, staring at the world with dealer's eyes. Tradesmen had put him up there. Those eyes made bargains, real and irreversible. You give me so, I'll give you so. No more, no less. The night before I left Legnago forever, I went to see him, and I made a bargain with him myself. I was a sober 16, filled with a desperate sense of right. I knelt before the god of bargains, and I prayed through the moldering plaster with all my soul. Signore, make me a composer. Grant me sufficient fame to enjoy it. In return, I will live with virtue. I will strive to better the lot of my fellows. And I will honor you with much music all the days of my life. As I said amen, I saw his eyes flare. Ben, go forth, Antonio. Serve me and mankind, and you will be blessed. Grazie, I called back. I am your servant for life. The very next day, a family friend suddenly appeared out of the blue, took me off to Vienna, and paid for me to study music. Shortly afterwards, I met the emperor, who favored me. Clearly, my bargain had been accepted. 
The same year I left Lombardy, a young prodigy was touring Europe. A miraculous virtuoso aged 10 years. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And now, gracious ladies, obliging gentlemen, I present to you, for one performance only, my last composition, entitled, The Death of Mozart, or Did I Do It? <laughs> Dedicated to posterity, on this, the last night of my life. Oh. 